What's up guys, it's your Motivational Gamer, and welcome to Summoner's Arc. <laughs> your place for Summoner's Arc content and Arc, and I'm excited today to announce some stuff. Uh, we have our own server. Um, we're going to be playing on Valhalla with the Primitive Plus mod. So let me explain to you guys a little bit before we get started here what exactly we're doing. So if you guys are interested in joining, you guys are more than welcome to. Just add me on Steam, on the Motivational Gamer 1, all one word. Um, however, what Primitive Plus is, is it basically unlocks, hold on here, let me show you guys here. It unlocks about 140-ish more Ingrams. Um, but the premise behind Primitive Plus, and you guys can, you know, check that out, uh, you know, on the Steam Workshop. The premise behind Primitive Plus is that they wanted to create an environment where, what if, you know, we still had the knowledge, like, let's say, you know, modern day we're living, and everything is cool, and then something happens where, you know, you get transported to an island or whatever. An event occurs where we get transported to a primitive island. And that island has limited resources, so we still have the know-how, but we can only create so much. So unlike regular ARC, where you're able to create C4 and uh, explosives and all this other jazz, rocket launchers and all that, um, it's it's really limited to the technology that, technology that most indigenous tribes around the world use. So like... Uh, mills and uh, blacksmiths, you know, blacksmithing stones and stuff like that. Uh, and you'll find a variety of materials all around the world to do that with over, what, they said like over a hundred different uh, crafting styles and recipes and stuff included uh, that you can cook based on the Primitive Plus server and other indigenous tribes around the world. What you want to create is up to you. They're also introducing a class system where you can receive stat bonuses based on the path that you choose. So whether that's farming, hunting, say you want to become a warrior and, uh, you know, just roam the lands in combat. You know, that's definitely something that you can look at. Now, in Valhalla, as you guys can see, I'm on a boat here. It kind of brings like a North Norse mythology kind of feel to it. Valhalla is a map that is two to three times the original size of the original map. Uh, for those of you guys who have you know have already played Ark, for the for those of you guys who have not played Ark, this game is basically uh, Jurassic Park mixed with Minecraft, <laughs> essentially grown up version, uh, where you act where you have to survive and, and find all the stuff that you need to flourish. Now here's the catch. Um, we decided to play this uh, with a couple of friends. So right now it's three of us. So there'll be three tribes all competing for basically control of the land. We're all really good friends. We've always played together, but now we'll actually be playing against each other to see who the best man or woman is. <laughs> so like I said, you guys are all welcome to join. Uh, we're starting here. I, I've never seen this map before. Uh, we just loaded it on the server so that everything is going to be a fresh experience. So we're going to go ahead and dive in. I'll kind of talk about this as we go. Now the cool thing that I read about Primitive Plus is that you actually can grow crops that are different. So like in the regular arc, you had like different types of crops where, uh, you know, like berries and stuff that you can grow, like basic berries um, and basic vegetables. Um, and this you can grow crazy stuff. Coffee, you can make tea, you can, I mean, just ridiculous stuff. They got like axes and like giant pickaxes and battle axes and stuff of course because it's a primitive server uh it's limited to the technology that you can receive so there's no like assault rifles or nothing like that um it'll basically just be um i think a musket is the biggest gun you can get and then uh stone structures are the are the strongest structures you can build uh you know clay adobe and brick are the tiers and then uh you just kind of go from there on top of you know the basic structures like thatch wood and like the stone and you just kind of decide uh, what you want to build. So enough of uh, what what um, you know the description of Primitive Plus is. Let's go ahead and dive into this play. So the first thing I'm trying to do, um, you know, especially since we want to race for time, um, is I'm up against these guys, and although we know each other, we hang out in Discord. It's kind of pretty much on the creep. So I mean, obviously I have the advantage because they could just watch my videos and see what I'm doing, which is not fair. So I'll be getting a lot of offline time in. But the biggest thing is I have to hurry up and level. The beautiful thing about this game is, uh, you know, when you're playing is you have to uh, tech up and, and advance quickly uh, so you can have access to technology. Mind, mind you, you guys are going to be taking this journey with me um, step by step because, again, like, I've seen, I'm used to regular arcs, so, like, all the new Ingrams and stuff, I have no idea. Uh, when I was messing around on uh, the regular server, I was using 
obviously primitive plus so I could see kind of what the Ingrams are but I only made it to level 5 um, before I well level 5 was the trigger because as soon as I saw that I can craft a pitchfork instead of a spear I was like I have to get the, we have to get the server like <laughs> running up and going so what I'm doing now is uh, you know for those of you guys like we basically just started on the island you know we're we're butt naked here hold on we got we got our little uh, we got our tidy whities um, so I, I'm hitting the bush here to gather berries so I can uh, get some sustenance. Now, typically the first thing that people do is they go up and punch the trees to get their pickaxe. Uh, but I, I'm handling things a little bit different here uh, because of the simple fact that, um, you know, I want to make sure that my food and basically my sustenance and, and my survivability is <laughs> lengthened a little bit. Although I should hurry up because in this game, I mean, you literally can die to anything. So other than the fact that you have dinosaurs roaming around um, that can crush you, uh, you can also die from things like freezing to death, uh, burning up, heating up, uh, you know, overheating, <laughs> overcooling. Uh, simple things like that, that if you don't pay attention to, could equal death. You could drown, fall from a high place. Um, this game is, is really, really ruthless in the fact that you have to do what it takes to survive. And if you're not doing said things to survive, then you will definitely die. You also have to make sure you pay attention to your stamina. Because if you, if you uh, work too hard or you, you know, try to chop too many trees or whatever, or chop too much stone um, at a time, you know, without giving your time to rest, you will pass out. And being unconscious in this game around a bunch of dinos and, of course, enemies unspoken of is not where you want to be. So, yeah, man, this game is is, is, is going to be fun uh, because, like, I've never played against, uh, you know, my friends. So it's it's going to be interesting to see uh, who's going to come out on top. You know, and, and again, guys, you guys are all welcome to uh, jump in on the server as well. You know, for those of you guys who play ARK who are interested in playing ARK, just keep in mind, um, the requirements for ARK on PC are pretty pretty steep. Uh, so you guys would have to have a decent rig, but you guys are more than welcome to join. Uh, the more, the merrier. And because uh, we're all on a quest. Again, this is kind of a free-for-all. It's kind of anything goes. Um, you could join up with one of the three of us. It's me, myself, or well, me, myself, the same person. Uh, my other buddy, Draconix, and my boy, uh, Vink. Uh, Vink is on, for those of you guys in Australia uh, or on, in different time zones in the world, uh, Vink is over there on the other side of the world. So, with that being said, <laughs> if that time suits you guys, uh, he's probably your best candidate uh, to team up with. Uh, but, yeah. So anyway, so back to this. So let's go ahead and get these berries. Uh, we're going to continue to connect, yeah, collect berries because it's my first day, so I don't know how to talk. Um, and, and again, the biggest thing is that we want to make sure and survive. Let's see. Let's go ahead and put these. I mean, could you guys imagine, like, <laughs> being stuck on an island with nothing, and then you have to uh, literally just start building the civilization from scratch all right so over here we got our stats um, the biggest thing is what you want to invest in all of these parameters affect different things so health obviously the longer you survive stamina is the more you can move around oxygen obviously breathe underwater i have heard that oxygen affects swim speed underwater for land um, mammals or land creatures um, food obviously water blah weight how much you can carry which i'm going to invest in first and then you also have, um, you know, the rest of the stats that you you saw there before. So melee damage, how hard you hit, movement speed, how fast you are. Fortitude affects how um, how you're able to withstand the elements and other effects like poison um, and stuff like that. And crafting effectiveness, of course, is how how fast and how efficient you are at crafting. So the higher the crafting effectiveness is, uh, what that does is it creates bonuses for you for like, let's say if you guys are cooking or uh, creating high level recipes later on, uh, it increases the actual effectiveness of those recipes. So that's something that you guys could look at too if you guys decide to pop on the server. Um, and then that's pretty much it. As you guys level up, you'll notice that you get Ingram points. And with these Ingram points, you can... Um, you can get in here and decide which way you want to go. Now, just be careful because there 
there are a, there's a ton of stuff that you can grab. Um, so make sure you pay attention and try to think about the things that you would want to create or build for yourself. You know, if you were to survive in the wilderness or whatever your play style is. Some people don't like to build buildings. Some people just like to you know be nomadic and just roam. I mean, and that's something you can definitely look at. Um, some people like to you know just build up a whole planet. I mean, if that's you, then that's what you got to do. But you gotta you gotta find you know your niche and then just kind of go from there, guys. And then as you do that, you see that your stuff, your your playstyle, your your village or whatever you're doing will flourish. <laughs> so me personally, um, in the beginning, I'm gonna start you know very small, uh, you know kind of just a small basic cut to work out of to start getting my resources together. Um, I'm kind of a hybrid. I like to tame. I like to hunt. And I like to uh, build and create efficient structures. <laughs> so you'll probably find me like on the borderline of farmer slash hunter. Uh, but that's where I'm at. So, but it, it's crazy though. This game is wild. As you guys see here, this brontosaurus is stuck on a rock. But you could tame everything that you see in this land minus, um, you know, little stupid stuff. Uh, a dodo, matter of fact, let me get one of these. <laughs> see, I'm going to jail for animal cruelty right now. <laughs> well, we're gonna we're gonna get ourselves a dodo. Uh, let's see here. All right. So when you when you go through the game, you got little stuff like this, like these narco berries and stuff. These narco berries, uh, they they work similar to a narcotic, to where if you feed these uh, to you know dinos or whatever, uh, they will stay asleep, and you have to keep feeding them. So uh, if you guys are taming a dino for the first time. You guys just click it and just go to remote use and you're just force feeding narcotics basically it's kind of violent <laughs> but you know it works and uh, what that'll allow you to do is to keep what you know whatever you're taming asleep and then you'll do that now the reason why I'm taming dodos right now is just because eventually I'm gonna need dodo eggs uh, to create the stuff called kibble which is like a food that's created for uh, dinosaurs so they can eat um, and you can tame more efficiently so that's why I'm grabbing this little lady right here. Hi baby. What is it doing? What's it doing? Yeah. This dodo is sleeping even though his face is stuck through the floor. What do you want to name the dodo? Yo, why is his mouth opening? Because she's eating. I'm, I'm, I'm. It keeps popping back up. Huh? Is it a female? Yes, it's a girl. That's why I said, what do you want to name it? Uh, I don't know. Oh. Whew, my heart jumped a little bit there. <laughs> oh, that? I thought that was a raptor. It was, it was like these little things are called oviraptors, but they only eat eggs. Um, so we're safe for now. But when they grow up, do they grow up? No, no, they that the oviraptor is already grown up, baby. But they look like babies. Well, because they're little dinosaurs. What do they look like as a baby? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I've never seen a baby oviraptor. I mean, we can get get two of them and make them have babies, and then we can see what a baby one looks like. Mm. But yeah, that's another thing too about this game, guys. Is you know, let's say you guys decide to go the taming route. Um, in this game, whichever a male and a female, they can you can breed them. Um. They can have fertilized eggs, of course, and uh, within the right temperature conditions, uh, you can basically raise and you know hatch an egg, and then you'd have there's a you know a period in, of time that you have to spend with the egg, coddling it, nurturing it, basically imprinting on you know the baby to make sure that you raise it effectively. And if you do raise the baby effectively, that baby will receive uh, bonus stats, you know, with you riding it or working with it or being near it or whatever. Um, that are unique to you, depending on how effective you were uh, when playing with the uh, said dinosaur. So, this you know this game has like infinite depth, depth, and uh, it's it's pretty crazy. It's a pretty crazy experience, and you guys will see. Because uh, right now, like we're all like all three of us are starting like from the bottom, and uh, we're basically competing against each other. So it's gonna be like a lot of stuff. We'll have to do like some night raids and some PvP and to get in there and uh, <laughs> steal some of their stuff. <laughs> uh, I already found one of them where, where they're based at. So it's going to be a good time. 
But yeah, guys, uh, that's gonna cover it for this video. We we successfully got our first dodo. What's the, what's the dodo name gonna be? Pancake. Pancake. All right. So we got pancake the dodo here. No, pancake butter. Pancake butter. Yeah. Pancake butter. Pancake butter. All right. Pancake butter. Yeah. Level four. Yeah. Level four. Is it already done taming? Yeah. That's quick. Yeah, the dodos are quick. All right, so we got pancake butter here. Um, and like I said, guys, that's going to bring the video to a close. Uh, this first video was just an intro video just to say hi, let you guys know what we're doing um, as we do this Let's Play arc, and we will continue um, until we uh, have world domination. Uh, but thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your motivational gamer, and no, you can't ride dodos. And we will see you guys next time. Peace.